Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> okay, so my first poem is about Giuliano Mer Camis. Um, him and his mother Arna helped to start uh, the Freedom School, which brought a community theater for children and youth in the Palestinian refugee camp of Janine. I recently saw a movie called Arna's Children about the Freedom School, and I was deeply moved by it. Am I talking loud enough? Yes. Yeah, okay. And as well, unfortunately, he was recently shot, so I wrote this poem in honor of him. Just FYI, uh, my parents told me to warn you, there are uh, many, many Passover references in the poem, which they told me to take out. But, um, okay, so just, if you've been to a Seder before, these will resonate. If not, talk to me after. <laughs> Dear Giuliano, across the Holy Land, Beneath the border, the folded up army fatigues laid out on an 18-year-old's bed. There is a heavy heart sinking in a pile of sand. A thousand naked sons laying you down to rest. You are at the precipice of an uprising. The wind at the sidelines of the Antifada. The courage that steeped out of my grandma's legs from train to camp. You are burning scraps of the everyday cultivating concrete into a reason to live. Heart of scriptures across borders, die anew. Shot before Passover, tell me, how is this shot different from any other shot? I will not recline this year. I will not recite the ten plagues or put horosis in my mouth. I do not want my people to go anywhere but into themselves. Let the despair of your death pass through us, not over us. When you died, I put down my paintbrush and flicked the channel. The occupation remains a stale piece of rhetoric. We have the time to honor you, but instead flatten your dreams like unleavened bread. Artists are so optimistic, even in their depression. Even in his blue period, Picasso was seen as hopeful. The rest of us leak sadness, it festers and we have nothing to show for it. We put a piece of maror in our mouths and are absolved. I am a sunken vessel with pierced hope, dry as a shank bone. I sit on my pen and I eat paint for dinner. I didn't know you, your heart a handful of grapes, big rugged hands able to hold your multiple selves, 100% Jewish, 100% Palestinian, Humanity doesn't come easily. Yours reverberated. Ancient and tangled languages through the checkpoints of this vacant misery. To the holy land of extremism, you brought a stage, lights, action, and children laughed like they knew a different tomorrow. You saw art as a delicacy. Damn you for giving us hope when there is none. What do we have to show between your life and your death? It's all the same vine between apathy and change. The same harvest of the takers taking more. Why do we do the things we do? I'm tired of being a canvas of bleeding hearts. Diane. seems to be the queer capital of the world for <laughs> vacation time. So I decided to um, write a poem. Oh god, okay. The earth split open, wanting to hold back, but the waves pushed through. I am macho femme turned into mist. Here we are, the bridge between Canada and the USA. We turn urban sprawl into magic. Why are skyscrapers jutting through these falls? We sit at Simon's Diner where the locals hang out, where we stand out the only brown-haired people. This place is an episode of hoarders. We sign the guest book while the children wave bacon and I say Merry Christmas. 
Walking along the boardwalk, we hold hands. Now we are the tourist attraction. I say we should charge. You, pull me closer into your arms. Our faces so close, these walls couldn't put out our fire. Fifteenth floor in a boxed hotel. CNN blaring, blue bed sheets, Bible in the drawer, keys, lip gloss, strap on, our hands pulled into each other. Channel 24, Elizabeth Edwards' funeral being protested. Apparently, she liked gays. American life scares me. Channel 31, Anderson Cooper getting death threats. He's not married, and neither are we. Soft kisses on the neck. The mist is waist up. 